What's up, my Brood War brothers? Welcome back to your daily dose. We've got Hero spawning here in the top right hand corner. His opponent, Sharp, in the bottom left. Now, as you can see, this is not a map from 2024. This is Eclipse that we're going to be watching today. So, this is not a uh, typical upload for the daily dose. This is an older game from the Korean ladder. Uh, this was recommended to me by Dude Nerd, and no, I've been uh, looking at other games that I could get into rather than just the freshest, newest games that are out there. Um, and you know, I, I'm concerned that I'm also casting a lot of the same things that are being casted on other channels as well. So we're gonna try to branch out, find some different games that hopefully strike your fancy hopefully you know get you guys excited and i know that this is this is a big matchup right now sharp versus hero that's going to be uh th this is going to be very interesting these two players are at the very very top of their game so i wanted to take a look at this and uh you know we've got hero here starting out with the 12 hatch sharp gonna be getting a wall in at the front now you know, Sharp has developed a lot as a player since this match. This match was played in 2020. So kind of at a low point maybe in Sharp's career. But Hero's really always been a pretty solid player, I would say. Since, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to just throw out a number there. But since like the middle of ASL uh, onward, he's been very, very strong. Like maybe I want to say around like season four, season five, something like that. He's just been really, really powerful. He's never won an ASL uh, as of yet, but you know, there's uh, there's definitely hope for him out there. He's he's that type of player who we do expect to see going deep in tournaments and eventually probably going to win an ASL at some point. Now, well, does that mean that uh, Sharp is just going to lose this game? Absolutely not. This is a very chaotic matchup. StarCraft 1 TVZ is one of the wildest things uh, in gaming, basically, period. It's just such a wild, wild match uh, or matchup. There's so many things that can go wrong. There's so much nuance to unpack in this matchup that I'm really working hard to try and get there, get that knowledge base up. And... Uh, there's just, every time you turn a corner, every time you light a match or light a candle uh, of knowledge, you can see how much more darkness there is out there in the world. If you get my drift, if you understand that metaphor, if you've heard that before, it feels like as soon as you start to figure out a little bit more about what's going on, there's just an entire world that opens up in terms of plays that can be pulled out and uh, you know the back and forth uh, in the early game especially uh, it is is just it's so deep it's so uh, ridiculous honestly it's so hard to imagine ever mastering it but these guys are about as close to mastery as pretty much anybody gets uh you can see here back in 2020 Terrence were not huge fans of moving out uh, with their early Marines. Mostly they would just sit, wait for their academy, and focus on, you know, getting into that two racks uh, academy plus one or that two racks uh, timing attack. And it looks like he's actually going for the plus one here. So the academy is a little bit later. He's just going to be getting the... Uh, stim pack now and he will be throwing down his second racks but there's no real information about that for hero hero has no idea that that's happening right now he, all he can see is just constant marine production here no medics so you know coming up on five minutes this is about the time when you would be moving out so seeing no medics here and no move out he's going to be understanding now that okay you're going for a plus one that's going to go nicely against this three hatch rebuild that he's decided to go for here. That three hatch. If there is that two racks play, you have to throw down multiple sunkets here. Two, maybe even three if you're not going to build any lings. So uh, with the plus one coming here from Sharp, he's going to be feeling very comfortable. 
uh, hero is to not build any sunken colonies at all and just pop seven mutas all at the same time, which is great for him. He's got the uh, air attack upgrade coming. He's going to start to pump out some drones. Uh, droning at this phase of the game is super, super important. It's something that uh, I didn't totally recognize when I was first learning this build, but it is really, really important that you start to drone up at this point so that you have the economy to move on to the next stages of the game. So he hasn't even taken a base just yet. He's going to focus on getting more and more mutas here, and he will be throwing down that base now over here on Eclipse. This is the map that really opened up the idea of Hydralis Defiler and brought it into the current meta. Um, but we're going to probably see it here for Hero. He kind of missed a shot on that first swipe with the mutas. Uh, didn't manage to kill the first SCV in one hit, so the turret ended up finishing there. Uh, but does come through, does get a few kills here. Sharp, you can see, is actually behind in workers now, so that droning is really paying off right now. But only going to exactly seven mutas and not adding on any more until after some drones pop out here. So he is going to get back into that mutalis production now, and Sharp is actually moving out. Wow, this barracks is getting very, very low. This is kind of dangerous for Sharp right now. He's actually going to stay a little bit too long, I think. It's almost time for him to back off. And that'll be not a moment too soon here because the barracks is just about burned down. He will back away. As more mutas pop out here, Sharp will be stopped. Tries to run forward to pick off a muta that's being rallied, but it's not going to be able to. That was, a <laughs> that was crazy... Uh close the turrets just not being quite close enough to the barracks it seems he really wanted to cover this ramp but didn't have the uh, coverage of those barracks and almost gets broken here he hasn't actually floated the barracks back into the main which is i'm a, bit, a little bit curious about uh in modern games you'll always float this back and maybe even build a bunker over here another turret right there in order to defend it's like a couple of Marines getting picked off there. Just slicing away at the back part of this group. And look at that. Still 11 mutas left over here. Doing a very good job at slowing this bio ball down. And the bio ball not looking that scary anymore. Huh. It's kind of funny placement on those two sunkins. But it is going to make its way over to the natural. And the hero's not actually in position to deal with that. Looks like he took out one turret. But this is really what matters right now. This bio actually needs to be swallowed up and destroyed uh, before it makes its way up this ramp. Oh, he's going to let it up the ramp. Okay, he's going to attack now, but he should have attacked as it was going up the ramp. This is still going to be a pretty good fight for Hero, but you can see plenty of mutas end up going down in the end. Pretty decent surround there. You really want to hit it as it's coming up the ramp. You don't want to allow the Marines to get up the ramp. Then uh, in that case, the, the uh, Lings are going to be completely useless. So, good job by Hero. Slightly off-timed, but he still does manage to clean that up pretty handily. Now, how many mutas do we have left? You can see Sharp did kill a lot of mutas. There was more than one full control group before. There was like a control group and a half, so quite a few got killed. He's only at 10 mutas now, and one of them is very, very low. So, you have to be careful with those. We have the star ports coming up here now. Going up to four racks. Sharp will amp that production up but we've already got lurker upgrade on the way here lurkers will be coming soon so i don't i, I didn't expect to see any more mutalis being made but i guess that hero is still a little bit worried that maybe a push could come across the map and end him here and this uh, marine medic ball is uh, scaring him a little bit here or perhaps he wants to do another dive in before he gives up on mutalis completely hydras are popping we've got Plus one armor on the way as well. Really curious about these two sunken colonies here. Kind of a funny funny place to see them. Really don't see that too often. You're here looping back around. Hero looking for more kills. That tree right there being a nuisance. So the Marines can actually run around that and maybe get stuck. Looks like turrets being picked off here this is a great spot right here is a fantastic position to hold and hero's taking control of it it's really important that sharp takes the control back of this location and get some turrets back up over here because 
Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've won games just by controlling this little area right here uh, with the Mutilus and the Marines trying to run up. You keep killing them off and killing the Marines that are popping out of the barracks. You can very quickly snowball a game out of control uh, by just doing that alone. Now, Lurker upgrade is done, but I don't see any Lurkers here. They haven't been morphed yet. We supply blocked or something. It doesn't seem like it. He has 800 gas to work with, so why aren't we seeing Lurkers? Finally, they are going to get started here. He will begin that Lurker production. One Medic heading out on her own. Just doing a bit of scouting there, stupid Medic. Where the hell are you going? Gonna rejoin with this group, finally. Not gonna get picked off. Out of character for the Medic there. Staying alive. Very out of character. Now, look at this. He's making vultures back here, but he's actually got them trapped. That's a little bit funny. We're researching mines right now, so... Sharp gonna switch his tech up into mines. You can see Sharp just loves vulture. It doesn't matter which matchup it is. Whether that be the uh, versus Protoss matchup or the versus Zerg matchup, he's still going to favor uh, adding vultures into the mix. And look at this. He's going to send the vultures out now. I'm going to go ahead and lift. Probably drop the factory up here and just keep making vultures. Big group of mutas is going to fly into the main now. This is the moment here to get a bunch of damage before these mutas are completely countered by the Radiate. And we have defenses up here in the main base that can hold on uh the natural and the third excuse me that can hold on against this bio ball and try and take the base in the top left you guys remember this man eclipse was in the map pool for a very long time but i hardly i hardly recognize it anymore guys it's been it feels like it's been a very it's been a minute a very long time since we saw this map but there's the double gas in the top left hand corner Probably going to get stomped here by Sharp. You cannot allow that to come up 100%. Go to 5 gas here as the Zerg. That is craziness. It's like the mines are going to be very useful at slowing down this push, but they do not connect with any of the Lurkers. A Dark Swarm suddenly comes down near the natural, and this could be uh, you know, a breaking moment here for Sharp. Sharp is losing a lot of his uh, Marines here. And the, the vultures are cutting off some of the reinforcements coming along. Like some mines are going to pop. Killing off just one ling there. Unfortunate. Uh, this mine could actually kill a lot of marines if he's not careful. Got to come forward here. Try to cut off reinforcements. Try to get in the path of these lurkers and potential defilers coming across the map. Here comes the lurkers. They are going to burrow. Great stim up and a pretty decent spread here from Sharp means he clears everything. Very nice job. He does have that plus one armor, so it's helping him a lot to fight with these lurkers. And he is going to be able to back up now with some fire bats popping out. Be able to push everything away. There are some scourge coming out here. He needs to be careful not to be losing any of these vessels. We want to keep that count high. Despite all of the craziness going on, you have to look to the future here. Keep that production rolling. Don't halt vessel production for anything here. Does have you know, some more gas being mined now. We'll be getting that vessel production rolling once again. And plus two is on the way here. Ultra Cavern is down and Titanus plating is coming. Oh my god, that mine didn't go off. How did that happen? Like some Marines here. Going to clear out the Lings over at the third base. Sharp going to start to take that. It's interesting, man. Sharp, I mean, he had map control for a second, but it feels like Hero snatched that back and away from him almost immediately afterwards. Good pick off on that Defiler. Focusing that down with the Firebats and Lings. Uh, Firebats and Marines, excuse me. Does need some more fire bats to get over here, but he's making his way over towards this base. Maybe able to shut this down. That would be a big win here for Sharp right now. He definitely wants to stop Hero from taking another base, but Hero relentless at taking bases, man. He's got another base over here. We're still producing vultures right now, adding on mines everywhere. It's a very good play from Sharp. But I don't think it's uh, going to win him back map control here. Hero going to clear out all of these Marines over on the left-hand side. And it's starting to fall apart right now. 
starting to fall apart indeed for uh for sharp he does have a pretty decent amount of units on this high ground to to deny that base and he's doing a drop at the same time over in the bottom right but let's see if he can get anything done here fireback gonna run out ahead unfortunately he does get picked off and the mass ling should be able to finish this now gas is mining here at the fourth that's enough to start ultra list production with the three gas you can build a few ultras oh lost that drop ship unfortunate wanted to swing that back around maybe pick up some more units and drop back here but wasn't able to do that i don't think that was full of units though at least Ooh, losing some rallies coming across the map here and hero just gonna go for the counter attack let's see how this does because there's nothing here at the third and i don't see any mines either sharp slipping a little bit right now had he the mines over here a whole bunch of mines you know he's got three vultures here if he had six mines right here he might have been able to soften up all of these ultras kill off all the lings and maybe come forward and just clear this easily uh, as it stands he's gonna bring fire bats and marines to clear this no medics on the field right now so it's gonna be tough to uh, sustain this damage but he will keep the third base alive unfortunately though hero just taking more and more bases right now dude hero is crazy hero just so strong man oh boy oh great plague there really great plague ultras making their way into the third yeah i'm trying to think of a way that sharp can kind of bring this one back but it's looking more and more deadly uh, what hero is doing right now great mine there getting rid of that defiler one defiler that was walking across the map but just more gas is coming up everywhere sharp just can't keep up he's 20 supply behind here he's trying to just pump out as many marine medic as he can he's got plus three uh that's all good he's even bringing out the SCVs to heal up these science vessels before sending them to uh you know restart mining over here at the third but i just don't think it's gonna be enough guys Mines are going to go off here, dealing quite a bit of damage to these Ultras. And Dark Storm does go down. Defiler going to be picked off by this Irradiate. Irradiate. Dealing that damage. And, I mean, Sharp has stabilized for the most part, but he's just so on the back foot here, guys. We're going to have another Vessel go down here, and this base will get up here pretty darn soon. Ultra with one HP does fall. More counterattacks of Ultras making their way around. And a Defiler as well. Probably going to be a Plague coming up next year in a moment. There it is. Plague on the vessels once again. Very annoying stuff. More Scourge being broken off here to try and connect with some of these the uh, vessels unfortunately not jumping into the bunker so none of those are going to be uh saved here in the bunker just barely holding on right now this is really nice play by sharp you know despite everything that's kind of gone wrong i think he's doing a very good job of holding on against hero in this kind of rough position where hero's got you know three almost going to be four gas here soon uh, with you know ultra defiler ling running around everywhere somehow he's managing to hold on but i think this might be the straw that breaks the camel's back yeah he loses a bunch of vessels all at the same time and with that his will to continue on in this game has been broken he leaves and hero takes game number one game number two is gonna be on polypoid so if i didn't say anything like this wasn't in 2020 i guess you guys would never know right this game this map has been in the map pool for just such a long time but it's a really solid map i never truly mind playing on this map except sometimes in zvp it's a little bit annoying um like for instance if you're up here in the top left and your protoss opponent is up here you have to take the third you kind of you're kind of forced into taking this as your third um and then this probably your fourth or maybe this is your fourth depending on the game state but that leaves you with just two gases and it can be kind of tough um 
you don't really have the option of lurker switching on three base because you just don't have enough gas. Whereas if you're on three base and you have three gases, you can totally start making lurkers and just keep pumping hydras. You just add the third gas on at your third base and boom, six hatch hydra with a ton of lurkers. It works very well. It's just not the case uh, on this map. In some cases, guys, in some cases, uh, you kind of have to add the fourth base uh, in order to get that production really rolling so that for, for that reason it is kind of tough on uh, uh, in that matchup in some cases but in this matchup really not a problem at all not a problem got sharp down here in the bottom left he's gonna start with a barracks as expected we'll see if he goes like two supply depot three supply depot uh into his command center let's see how greedy he gets here I don't remember what Terrans were doing back in 2020. The game has evolved a lot in terms of the things that the Terran players are going to be doing in the early game. There's a lot more nuance that's kind of leaked in. There's a lot more kind of um, metagame that's shifted over the years. I guess over the past like four years, right? It's 2024 now since 2020. Um, you know, things have changed up a lot. Look at this bunker right off the bat here. I guess it is a pool first. He comes in, he sees the pool first. He knows that lings are popping, so he does add the bunker right away. So already not your average game, not your typical game here from Hero. And Sharp's going to be reacting to that with that bunker. He gets a second Marine. He will start the third Marine. He's not being greedy or anything. He'll probably get uh, the CC here on location in just a moment. And he'll have to keep that SCV alive. The SCV here is critical. You need to keep this alive because you need to see with, uh, you know, if there's going to be a bunch of lings popping right now. You're constantly looking for ling production. If you see drones and drones and drones, you know you're going to be fine. You don't need to pull SCVs or anything like that. But if you see a, a few more lings pop out, then you know that speed is going to be on the way and that speed is indeed on the way. Um, and there's going to be some sort of ling all in. And this bunker right here, tell you what, right now, this is not a great bunker for a ling all in. If there's a ling all in coming, you'd much rather have the bunker over here, somewhere like that. You can put a supply depot in front of it. Uh, one of those spots would be a lot better, but it is what it is here. He's got the bunker kind of out in the front. As long as he keeps the SCV alive uh, enough for long enough time, I would even probably send out another scv right now uh with the scv being chased this far away you can probably sneak it out on the map find another pathway to make it across and just see if there will be lings being produced right now it's not going to be the case so he's going to be fine but that is a scary thing right now because it's totally dark on the map for sharp right he has no idea if while those uh lings were chasing his scv if there was more links being popped out and there could be you know 12 links come running in they circle the bunker and gun it down instantly that's a dead terran that is a dead dead terran because there's only two marines popping out at a time that is not enough to deal with a, a bunch of links and more rallied across now that's not going to be the case here but Sh sharp should be thanking his lucky stars that it's not because this this bunker is in such an exposed position and Come, Sat is going to be coming down here. Spire is on the way. Nothing out of the ordinary here for Hero. Just sticking with that three hatch style. Very, very common for him to, you know, go with that build. It's um, it's strong. It is very strong. It's always been strong. Uh, the two point five hatch is. What I meant to say earlier when I said three hatch, I meant two point five hatch, guys, but. The, the premise is the same, right? You want to have that extra larva. You want to have that extra hatchery in your main to just pump out masses of units so that you can potentially overwhelm a Terran player who's going for some of these more modern builds, like a four uh, barracks play. You, it's very hard to overwhelm a four barracks with just two hatch muta. It's tough. It's very, very tough. But uh, with the three hatches, you can potentially do it and... 
You will be able to squeeze out a lot more drones. You'll be able to get into a much more powerful mid game. Your mutas are just slightly later. You can see about six minutes is when two hatch muta uh, will start to arrive. But here it's going to be like 6.10. We're going to arrive here with five mutas. Eh, five mutas going to take a look at those turrets and decide they don't want any. They're going to fall back. Um, how many mutas do we have here? Going up to nine this time before doing anything else. Nine mutas and now into drones. So last time you went for seven and then went into drones. This time nine. We'll come in here, pick off a missile turret it looks like. Nice repair, really good repair there from Sharp. Actually buying a lot of time. 11 hit points left on this muta, but oh, he it, I mean, it probably wasn't intentional, but one of the Marines targeted that down and another mutalist falls down to seven now. And all he got was a turret. Not a great start here for Hero. And Sharp pulling some excellent moves. And there's the four barracks play. Four barracks play. Really good modern style. Very hard to handle. We'll see how Hero deals with this. Means that the Medic Marine is going to be super strong on the map this game. He's already got almost finished that plus one. Plus one. Ghetto, you almost got that. Sunken colonies being morphed here. Over at the natural, no base yet. So taking this very seriously, you can see huge amounts of mutas being produced right now. Still no third base. Drone production is pretty good. We're getting into that good saturation here. Hydroden gonna be morphed. Hydroden before third base pretty conservative play here right now for hero he will be diving in killing a few scvs he's dropped the scv count by quite a bit sharp gonna look to maybe think about breaking the natural but damn that's a lot of sunkins triple sunken here with all the lings i don't know if you're gonna be able to break through there um I don't think Sharp thinks... I, I think that Sharp doesn't think so either. He's going to move up towards the top right. Can he find this drone? If he finds that drone, it could be pretty good for him. If he finds the drone and kills it... Oh, the hatchery starts. So he act, he will get up here. This is very good for Sharp. If he gets up this ramp. If he doesn't get up the ramp, it could be bad. Um, the Midas can like really bully you off that ramp. Okay, he will get up the ramp. Though he does lose three mutas and two medics at the back of the army. He does kill the hatchery, though. That is very, very big. Let's see the mutas being targeted here. Looks like only one or two mutas went down. So a trade for the third base. Not, not bad. Really, not bad at all. This third base has already been delayed significantly this game. Huge delay on this third. You'd usually like to be getting the third up. Around the time when you're popping your mutas, your first like nine mutas, eight mutas as they come out, that's kind of when you'd like to be taking uh, your third base. But he hasn't been able to do it this game. He's, he delayed that by a lot to get the mutalists out to deal with that army, but he didn't catch the army in time. Getting up there to the top right and sharp ends up making a good play for himself, where now he's going to be, I would say, in an advantage. Even though he lost the Marine Medic on the field, as long as he sits here and waits for a really big critical mass of units before moving out, I think he's going to be 100% fine. Even waiting for the vessels might not be too bad of an idea. You know that the third is super late. So waiting for that, I mean, it should be okay here. Keeping this turret alive tough to get turrets up in this location but he's managed to get a pretty good setup there vessels are going to start to pop tanks are on the way i don't think the tank is going to do anything we've already got the hive almost done the, the tank push is probably not the best idea here i think the sharp would be much better served just going into double radiates because the gas is so late you're just not going to have many gas units to deal with those constant irradiates kind of picking away at your gas units but he's decided to go for this play i don't think he's got uh siege mode here just yet he might already have researched that i didn't notice it in the tab but he's probably going to wait for three siege tanks and then go across the map to try to break this natural however 
I think we're going to have that Defiler in time. Uh, I think this all times out to you know, Sharp being ready for this. He's going to send an SCV out on the map, out on the map, but that's going to be picked off. Good presence of mind here by Hero. Making sure that he can't get a free SCV out to scout. And the first two tanks are out now. Two tank push. Okay. And there's the siege mode on the way. We have some lurkers here in the middle of the map. He's going to bring the tanks forward to start to deal with that. Got to keep these tanks alive. Any snipes on these tanks would be devastating. Here he comes. He's going to get this tank. He's getting this. Yeah, Sharp not quick enough. Not uh, reacting to that. And it looks like he's even letting some Marines run up over here. Oh, the second tank, I think, is going to get picked off too, maybe. Oh, no. Okay, the Mutas are actually going down really, really quickly now. Okay, taking the fight a little bit too long here. Staying a little bit too long was Hero in that uh, that little spot there. Picking off the tank was great, but losing all the Mutas is very painful. Going to spread and split and try to break through here. Sharp taking a very good angle on that left-hand side. Breaking through. Really nice push here from Sharp now. Getting up right into the front. But is it in time before the Defiler comes out here? Tank setting up. He gets two immediate kills on these Lurkers. He's going to start to push forward here. It's a D-Matrix on one of these Marines. The Marine is being hit by one of those sunken colonies, but there are a few Lings popping out here to try and help. He's going to get the Science Vessel. The Science Vessel goes down. That's a huge moment here for Hero in holding this attack. Where is the Defiler? There must be one in production. Where is it? Is that it right there? No. No, where's the Defiler? Okay, there it is. It just started. Oh, that's not good. He's going to be able to hit the Nidus Canal. We've got... That's done. Consume is done, but he doesn't have a Defiler. Big mistake here from Hero. This push shouldn't really do anything uh, right now, but he's actually managing to make some pretty good headway right now because this uh, Defiler... Can he actually target the Defiler as it pops out? If he hits it with two tank shots, I think it'll die. Oh, it's out of range. Okay, can't hit that. Meanwhile, a drop over here at the top right-hand corner. This is really going to throw Hero for a loop. Targeting down the extractor. Uh, there's another Nidus Canal that just popped up, but that's not connected just yet. As you can see, no connection on that Nidus Canal. Losing quite a few of his Marines and Medics because he's controlling here in the top right-hand corner. These Marines looks like they're going to go down as well. And Sharp will be denied breaking through here. Although he brought a tank up onto the high ground. I did see those Marines and Medics walking across the map. But I guess the tank made it all the way over here as well. These tanks are being left behind. No man left behind. Come on, Sharp. Bring it together here. Make sure you keep those tanks alive. Bring them back. Set them up on this high ground. They're still useful in the later game. He's going to go right into mines and start to play that game once again. He did put some hurt on the hero. Hero is going into this next stage of the game in a pretty rough spot. Right now, as hero, you'd like to be pushing out with your defiler to try and take your fourth base, but he is a long way away from doing that. He is not in a position of strength right now to where he could actually try to take that next gas. Instead, he's going to Go for Plague here, and will he go into Hydra Defiler? It doesn't seem like he will. From what I can see, he's upgrading melee attack, and it seems like he's just gonna slow, he's just gonna play this slow, and try to get into Ultra a little bit slower than usual. Fire Bats wrecking that last couple of Lurkers, although they didn't seem to be under Dark Swarm there. Pretty big mistake there from Hero, trying to push forward, and not getting under the Dark Swarm fully. Ling's coming out. They're going to scout, see that this army is pushing up. The pressure is mounting here as Sharp pushes forward even further. Not content to sit back with tanks on high ground and try to, you know, do some more drops or just keep irradiating here. He wants to push in and deal that finishing blow. He's going to try and set up in a spot where he can hit this Nidus Canal. And I tell you, this is some of the most annoying stuff to deal with. If he can get this Nidus Canal, it is massively massively annoying can he actually get an irradiate on that defiler looks like unfortunately losing the vessel here without getting an irradiate there another drop comes up into the top right but here it is it 
just gets annihilated. Seems like the Nidus died to the tank fire, finally, and he will be pushed away. But this is so much harassment, guys. It is so bad for Hero. You can just see Sharp continuing to uh, get his upgrades rolling. He's inevitably going to get into three, uh, plus three attack. And he's just done so much damage. He's slowed everything down so much. We're not even close again to taking this fourth base. The fourth is so far away here. A good plague landed on these Marines earlier. So he's not going to be able to uh, hold this position. It was kind of a cheeky little position here with the tank, with the tank there. But it will be picked off now. Sharp, he just, I think he needs to just chill. I think he needs to relax here. Take a, take a chill pill. Get his fourth base up, which looks like it's going to be over here at the center left, and start pumping out those battle cruisers because you just can't afford to fight against battle cruisers, vessels, and uh, marine medic. You know, you can't afford to produce tons of scourge and produce all the things you need to fight marine medic, which is just defilers, links, and ultras. Um, a very gas heavy composition. Um, while you're trying to fight in the air with the with the battle cruiser, so he is going to come forward, get another bunch of radiates. This is perfect from Sharp, except for that he lost that. That's a little bit unfortunate. He does lose the uh, the vessel there. Another vessel goes down. I just caught that. The tail end of it. Some little Ling counterattacks, trying to do their best to deal a little damage here and there, but. You know, not getting much done aside from killing that one tank. Tank production is now off. We are full on battle cruiser mode now. Double starport battle cruiser is being sent out here to the front. And Sharp, he needs to get another base going here. He needs to get this gas primarily. That should be his number one priority right now. Is this gas geyser is getting close to mining out. They would like to get a second starport as we've got a thousand gas banked up. Or a third starport, excuse me. An additional starport is what I meant to say. Just to make sure that we can keep on throwing out battle cruisers. Uh, another two drops are being made here. I don't actually like this for Sharp. Sharp is going to stretch himself a little bit thin now. Uh, whereas I think he should just be chilling out. He should just be relaxing right now. He's in a good spot. Just keep the vessels alive. Keep the vessel count high. Um, but the vessels have never gotten that high in count. Uh, in this game. It's always been Hero kind of picking them off piecemeal. And again, another vessel is going to fall here. Really unfortunate. And now he can start to push over towards this base with the Defiler and some Lurkers. He might actually be able to break this. Sharp, I mean, he was playing great. He was in a very good position. But I think he might have thrown away his edge here in this game. We're going to lose the, um, the base over here. We're going to have to lift. But two drops coming in with two battle cruisers might do some work. Okay, that's a lot of scourge. Never mind. Both of those are going to go down. And almost nothing gets unloaded here into the main. A great counter right now to this play. Gets another plague on this. Did he just get another plague on that? I think he did. I think he got a another plague down. Brutal stuff. No, no. Okay, it is just, just the one plague. But there goes the scourge connecting with all of that. Shutting down Sharp here. Sharp, he can't even land a base right now. He's running out of minerals in his main and natural. He's running out of hope of winning this game, potentially. 147 supply to just the 92. 50 supply advantage here and another base coming down. Hero is just about to take this game, guys. Ah, Sharp, man. It's, it's rough to watch. It is really rough to watch, guys. Sharp. Again, had a great spot. He denied this fourth for so long. We almost mined out. We almost mined out in our main and natural. Here as the uh, the Zerg player. Look at how low we were. This is depleted. This is getting low. We're at 20 minutes in. He only just got this online. As you can see, he's only mined 600 out of this geyser so far. You want to get this up way faster as the Zerg player. But Sharp, I think he went a bit too ham. I think he lost a few too many science vessels there. You want to have that cloud of science vessels 
irradiating everything. And then battle cruisers flying into each base. And the, the Zerg will just, they, they will just suffocate and die on three base. There's no two ways about it. You can't do anything fancy. You know, there's no way to get a good trade, really, except for maybe some plaguing action. Maybe you get a Dark Swarm down. They're not paying attention. Drop a Lurker. But if you just come in, let's let's go back a little bit here and just take another look. Do a little analysis here. I know some of you guys like that. Um, <clears throat> Right here, right? We're, we're doing so much damage. We're doing so much damage to him. We're slowing him down by an incredible amount. We're almost killing, actually. We're we're very close to killing here. Um, and Sharp really almost got this win right here, right now. Uh, it's so hard to hold on when you don't have the Nidus anymore. Um, and there are all of these Marines splitting and, and fighting. He didn't have any medics with this. That's a big problem. Uh, the tank gets up here as well. He can start to target down the Nidus with the tank in siege. That's so brutal. Oh man, this was this was so close, guys. He even had to. Um, oh gosh, is he gonna get that? Yeah, he did get that as well. Like, look at this, look at this position right now, you guys. This is so nasty. We're at 76 supply for Hero. He just lost his Nidus for the second time. Or was that the third time? That was. He lost it so many times. Um, this one wasn't even connected when it was lost. He just rebuilt that. So it's just extra, extra painful. He's barely hanging on. There's tanks that are almost in range of his hatchery over here. He's almost in range of his drones over on this side. I think he might even be in, in range of a couple of these drones. And really all he needs to do right now, get that second starport out stop making tanks and just keep irradiating we just set up a little army down here little army down here and just keep irradiating over and over and over again maybe set up a few mines yeah if that's your fancy if that's what sharp likes to do you know set up a few mines here and there but really just irradiate 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 and eventually you know as the zerg player he's suffering trying to take this base getting irradiated over and over and over again and trying his best to just get this and over here getting irradiated have having to keep building lurkers in this location as well to keep that alive and keep building lurkers over here to try and push down defilers and lurkers and defilers and lurkers over and over and over again and then the battle cruisers fly into the main right as the fourth gas is coming up that is the the kind of nail in the coffin there it just makes everything so chaotic you never get into ultra like you're planning to i don't think he even went into ultra this game did he did he end up getting ultra and end? i don't think he did no he just ended up winning with lurker and ling uh in the late game i think but um yeah this is this is a bit sad for sharp he almost had this game man okay he did get ultra eventually what, what, did any even come out? No, I think they were just starting to come. Yeah, that was like the first ultra right there when Sharp tapped out. He saw the cow and he decided to leave the game. Now, it was actually these dropships going down. This is just kind of his last gambit here, right? Trying to fly in with battle cruisers to cover the the uh, dropships. Well, they don't work too well if you put them on an A move. You need to move them over here with the dropship to help def get uh, this area defended. Um, you know, kill the Scourge so that they can actually unload, but didn't do a good job of that either. This is old Sharp, guys. This is Sharp back in 2020. This is what he used to look like. I wonder what he's going to look like in 2024 in this matchup. How is he going to fare? Really excited to see it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this match, this latter series here from 2020. Uh, I'll be looking for more great matches to bring to you here very, very soon. But stick around. I'll see you in the next video.